I started dancing in Utah, USA, where I was born and raised in a very small studio. We did all sorts of genres of dance from tap to hip hop and lyrical and modern and even this Afrikaans with the drums occasionally. This was always very fun and um, we did gymnastics with the mats and ballet. Uh, it was very Dance Moms-esque. Uh, competitions and the costumes and the trophies and the conventions and the whole business of it. Um, but I always felt like ballet was the one class that I enjoyed the most. And then I attended the Prix de Lausanne when I was 17 and I took home a prize, which is something very special to me, this whole experience of Prix de Lausanne, not just taking a prize, because in my opinion, everyone takes away something very valuable from that trip. Anyway, from there, I got a contract into Houston Ballet Main Company, uh, where I joined as an apprentice and later a corps de ballet. Um, I'd always planned in staying in Houston. I loved the company, I loved the rep, but there's always been something in me that wanted to dance in Europe. And I have a huge sense of adventure and risk. And so I took a risk and I just auditioned for Vienna because I was a huge admirer of Manuel. And the moment I met him, he was, it just felt right. This last is my third season with the company and I'm so grateful for every experience beginning to end. It's been dreams coming true one month after another, one week after another, so, but a huge challenge. Since joining the company, there have been many roles that hold a significant place in my heart. One of them is for, for certain Eden Eden. It was my first big part in this company. It was my first big part as a professional dancer. Um, another major point for me was doing Artifact Suite uh, last season. This was, this was a, a real dream come true. It's by William Forsythe. Another special one I hold is uh, emeralds in Balanchine's jewels. Uh, I was very, very lucky to get the second pas de deux um, and variation. And this was, it's Balanchine. I love Balanchine. It's like I can be free. I can just, it feels natural to me. And his movement is very organic. So, but it's tiring. It's super tiring, but it's so enjoyable and musical. It, it doesn't bother me at all, but this was really nice and very ethereal and there was so much uh, you could do to play around with it within the boundaries of the choreography. Another big uh, role that was a huge, I think the massive challenge was uh, Golnair in Manuel Legree's Le Corsair. This I premiered uh, two months ago, back in mid-December. I would highly recommend for people of all ages and including young crowds to come and see this uh, repertoire of Eden Eden Concerto and Macmillan. You can really see a progression of every decade and style. You have everything in one night and whether you hate it or love it, you walk away thinking about it. And I think this is something very unique and also we as human beings enjoy. We love going to a movie and coming out and discussing it. And I think that this mixed bell gives you that, exactly. Uh, you have very clean choreography, you have the story, and then you have Eden, which is this 
alien-esque, has a lot of deeper subjects that you could read into, maybe pertaining to your personal situation, whoever that audience member is. Uh, it's definitely a conversation starter. It's very physical, it's very aggressive, it's, it's uh, crazy. You see some, some of the dancers do things with their bodies that you didn't think were possible. Um, and we've really, we've really worked on it through since we premiered it uh, two seasons ago. And you can see that it's evolved and it just keeps evolving and that's good because that's, that's our goal. And yeah, I highly recommend it. You will walk away satisfied and with a conversation piece for sure.